Hey guys, today, um, I'm going to be trying to complete nine circles. So I got 46% in this, but I have a copyable, and if you look here, um, let's save and play. Okay, I think I soft locked. So, I, I know it says 0%, but I actually did a really good run of 39. Hold on, my game sounds really loud. I did a really good run of 39 to 78. So, my game sounds still pretty loud. Okay, so I did, I, did, I did a really good run in my coffee of 39 to 78. Now, the only part that's actually hard is the fake. I don't know why I'm so dying so much. But I did a run from 39, I think, to 79. Yeah, that, that's always the part I die to. But I don't know. I think I know how you do it. Why am I dying to that saw all the time? There's the one saw. I keep dying to it. I'm not holding it enough. Yeah, oh. Okay, why do I keep dying to that? I've died to that like before the recording like so many times. I'm just not holding enough. I keep dying there. Yes, so, yes, you can do that. I didn't even press the button. Uh, so let's go into it. Why do I have that? Why was I playing this? nine circles so I can usually get to the wave part but the only trouble I really have is the start of the wave like the first 10 to 20 percent with the wave but then I'm usually pretty consistent Oof, what was that and I'm usually pretty consistent with the rest of the level so like in a month I'm probably like in a month I'm probably gonna be able to do this and the, the end of the level, I just need like a little bit more practice on. So. Okay. Um, so the end of the level, I just need a bit more practice on. Like the jewel at the end. The, the jewel at the end isn't hard, but it's just the transition into the jewel at the end. Because sometimes you can die to the transition. And it's usually at like 80%. So I really don't want to die that. Why do I keep dying to swords? I hate swords. That, that part at the end, I just need to practice for a little bit more. But you know what, let's go, let's go into practice mode right here. What the? Uh, I, I can just spam checkpoints until I get to the part that I actually need to practice. This part I know how to do. Uh, oh, I almost died. Okay, this ball part I need to practice a little bit, but I'm usually pretty consistent with it. It's just, it just has some really annoying timing. Uh, yeah, that one right there. It's usually the blue orb timing in this part. So like that blue orb timing there, it's a bit annoying. And th this is the hard part of the ball, like that timing. And this part's like, you know, I don't know what I did there, jeez. <laughs> I was looking at like the other side of the screen. So obviously this, I can't even basically die to this. And then we get to the wave. So I can put a few checkpoints here, because I know how to do it. Obviously that, is just keep not holding it down enough for some reason. And okay, so you need to go like that. You need to like weave your way around the saw basically. To do that. Why, did I, why did I put a checkpoint there? I didn't even press. So this is easy, and this anti-gravity part, eh, moderately easy, but yeah, just this part right here is the hard part. I don't know why I keep dying to it. So, just, what the, just that part right there is the hard part of the anti-gravity. I don't know why I'm dying so much, like I did a run before, a really good run. That, that jewel was like the easiest part of the way. 
Okay, so is that. And th this is where I usually start to mess up. Like, yeah, there. And this spam is pretty easy. And this anti gravity part is so annoying for some reason. And this is like where it transitions into the jewel. So I died about like there. Not there, like 78%. And the really good one. So I died about like, yeah, there or something. I got like 78, 79%. Yeah, that, that transition into the jewel is hard. And this end bit, I just need to practice a bit more because it has a few, like, pretty easy timings. I did not need to time that. If I, if I die to this end bit, I'm gonna be pretty sad. And, and like, I usually mess up for it, once it starts to slow down, like there. That's the part I always mess up on for some reason. So, I, I can probably do this in a few weeks. Um, but I don't know, there's just some parts that are really inconsistent. Like, that, that time, oh, that. That timing like at the end of the ball. Sometimes it's, it's really inconsistent. Um, yeah, that transition into the jewel. It's also really inconsistent. Like, what was that? Like, yeah. So that that transition to the jewel is just really annoying because sometimes you can die to it. It's not really even your fault. You have to go like right in the middle to not die. Why do I keep dying? You have to go like right into the middle to not die. So, yeah. And the end part is like. You know, okay, okay, I'm doing really bad right now. I'm doing really bad. That timing, that timing. It's always the blue orb time. That's like one of the only times that kills me in the ballpark. It's one of the only time that actually gets me in the ballpark. The, the yellow orb timing is pretty easy. I don't even think of the pink orb timing. I always die to the... Well, not always, but... Usually the part that I die to into in the ship part is when you go, you know, up and you look for three souls. Like, I want to show you, like, this. This is the part, like, those parts. The ones I want to die on. Why did I even do that? So, yeah, the, the, the end is, like, the most inconsistent for me. I don't know why. It's just the most inconsistent the end of it. But I am doing really bad right now. I don't know why. Like I definitely did a run to 78 before. Know, what am I doing? Also, why is that saw there? Look, I just want to show you. Well, see, why is, why is that saw right there? It looks so weird. Well, well, it's just nudged in the block. It looks weird. I don't know why it's there, but okay. Okay, why why do I keep jumping when I don't need to? I, I don't know. I never noticed that saw. I just noticed that saw there. But why is it there? It looks dumb. Like, who would actually go up there? Why am I dying so much right now? I, I have no idea. I'm gonna go off recording and instantly complete it or something. Okay, I am dying way too much. Let's go into the copy people. I just want to show you. Why do I, why do I have this? I don't know why I have it. Why do I have Blade of Justice? Huh? Is this a Blade of Justice? And this is just a regular blade of justice. Why do I have this? Jeez. Delete that. What is that? Okay, so nine circles too. Let's go. The inconsistent part. It's right here. 
So let's go. It's anti gravity mini wave. Three speed. Do this. Oh, look at this. Look, look. Sometimes. Sometimes. Do this. So, see that? If, so, see that? That. Sometimes you just die there for no reason. Well, it is a reason, but. Sometimes you die for like you go through up. Sometimes you die. I don't know why I'm not dying right now though. Right, what? What? Why am I dying there? When I practiced it, like I died there a lot because it was so inconsistent. When I practiced it. What? Why am I dying there so much? I'm. I'm. I'm not doing it properly. If I if I need to practice that end bit, so this jewel is easy. See that 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 start of the end bit is hard. I don't know what I just did there. Hold on, let me just go into uh, no, yeah, I'm not in preview mode. So I just want to see this. Oh, is there a oh, no layering? Nine circles has no layering, are you serious? It actually has no layering. Oh, okay, it has a tiny bit of layering, but like, it has no layering. No, this is the actual nine circles, like copied from it. Um, it has no layering. Okay, so, let's see, yeah, so it has a block there. No, it has a block there, and oh, how did you do it again? So, yeah, okay, it's that, it's that. What about this? And and then that's three DL. So, um, yeah. So you die if you jump there. So you need to go like there and then jump there. You go down there, go up here, here, here. What do you do? Okay, oh, you jump up there. You go down over that. You go over that, and this is the inconsistent part right here for me. Then yeah, this is also 3DL as you can see. And um, yeah, there's a coin here. Oh wait, are these all grouped? Oh, okay, so you just, how do you get that? Hmm, oh. Let's try from here again. What? As you can see, I haven't died to like, jewel. Well, I keep dying to the star position. I haven't died to the jewel like, hardly at all. Probably the start position is what's messing me up. Start position is always mess you up. Okay, yeah, see, I told you that that's the one part I'm gonna die on in actual nine circles. There's the one part that I'm going to die on, so I need to put nine circles into a folder. Um folder one. So I'm gonna make this the list of demons I need to complete. Um, well. Hold on, I forgot the name of the demon. Yeah, Verity, okay. I'm gonna put this into a folder one. Oh my god. Folder one. Uh, this level, hold on. And there's one more, not that one. Oh, that's an XL. It's an XXL demon, no way. Uh, what is it? Not that much. Okay, so let's go into folder one. 
I want save, okay. Hold on. Right, so. Oh, I have some other ones. Why do I have so many of these? What the? What is all this in here? Okay. Oh, well, I think I remember this level. Okay, so let's go back into nine circles because that's the whole point of this video. Um, so that last part is right, at the end of the cube part at the end. The jump that you just saw me die on is the most inconsistent. I thought I was going to die there. Yeah, that jump is the most inconsistent thing. What was that? I didn't even see what happened. So, yeah, the jump at the end is like really inconsistent. Because it's a really hard time. But it's at the end, so I'm gonna get stressed. I, I, but I just noticed so many weird placements in nine circles, like... Oh, look, at the, look at all the swords that I just jammed into the blocks. And why is there a block down there? Like, obviously you're not gonna go there. Well, I just noticed so many weird placements, it's just weird. Why? Oh, it's, it's the most popular hard game. Well, obviously, it's, a nine, it's literally OG nine circles. And it has so many weird placements. I why did I die to that saw again? Look, look at this, it has so many weird placements. It's just like why? Did I glitch it? I don't know if I glitched, I wasn't looking. Also in like seven six or seven years of playing the game, I probably should have completed a hard game by now. <laughs> I guess I haven't. Okay, so let's get to the wave part. Finally, I'm actually getting a bit more consistent. Oh, that was one more percent than I had before, I think. So I died to the, um... What's the, the fake? The fake. The only fake, I think. It's in the only fake in the wave part. I, I died to the fake before, and then I died right after the fake. What? How did I die? Did I die to the saw? You can actually jump that. Jeez. I did like two micro clicks so I didn't even register. Yeah, so that that fake part in the, oh my gosh that was good. That fake part in the wave um, the wave starts is always the most inconsistent of part of the wave thing. Yeah, I'm getting a bit more consistent. I'm getting a bit more consistent now. I saw that's, that saw is just bugging me. Like, why would you place that there? It doesn't look right. If I just realize this love is like a saw wasteland, basically. I died there again. I, I just realized this level is literally a saw blade dump or something. Look how many there are. And there's, there's one, there's, there are saw blades where you can't even get to. There are saw blades inside blocks, like that weirdly placed saw blade. And there's, there's many like phaseable saw blades, whatever you call it, like the saw blade decorations of the jump pad. It's just weird. And I get that um, I'm pretty sure these saw blades were added like when 1.9 started. And I'm pretty sure this is like a pretty early 1.9 level. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that these like, I don't know, 
you know, factory type soils were added in 1.9, but geez, I don't know if people spammed them this much, but 1.9 I didn't play like that much. In 2.0, like, I don't know, the levels looked so good back then. I don't know, something like Meat Grinder or something. Like a level like that, or what's another good example? I don't know, I haven't played any 2.0 levels. But all those 2.0 levels, they looked so good back then, because, you know, they had all, like, swirls and stuff. Um, but, like, they had swirls and everything. You know, those spinning swells that people use, like, for portals now. Um, well, not now. I think they still use them, like, at the end of 2.0. But, like, people used to just spam all the 2.0 stuff. I went in the time gap that you're not supposed to go. They used to just spam all this 2.0 stuff everywhere, and everyone was like, wow, it looks so good, you know, like that shine thing that people use to, you know, you know, shine orbs and coins and stuff. And jump pads, like it, it looks so good back then. But now it just looks weird. You know, it just it doesn't look right. Like, you know, you can use them a bit here and there, but still, I don't know. I just don't like. Like, 2.0 was one of my least favorite times in Jump Tree Dash. I don't know why. Like, I know it was probably really good for a lot of people. I don't know, the way things looked in 2.0 and the rainbow blocks and everything. I mean, it, it just didn't look right to me. I just don't like that type of level. Plus people used to use the move trigger for, I don't know, moving like a portal like one microsecond before you actually got there. So you wouldn't even know what you're turning into if you tried to sight read it. There's just to add a portal one microsecond, one nanosecond or something, a picosecond before you even change into the game mode. And you wouldn't even know what you're turning into. So you'd be trying to, you know, like fly as the wave or something, but you're actually a UFO or something. It's weird. You want to zip as a wave and you are no cube. And people used to just do that. And it was just annoying. Like, some people just abused the move trigger and stuff. I you think the alpha trigger was also a move corner. They would just abuse them. Like, you would have an invisible portal. It's even worse than moving a portal. And you would have no idea what you were going to change into. Well, I got completely sidetracked, I know I shouldn't even be talking about 2.0 because I'm playing 9 circles right now. But I, I, I don't really have anything to talk about apart from 2.0. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. So we made 1% progress and I'm getting a little bit more consistent now. And I've only been practicing this level for like 2 hours or something. So. You know, I'm not gonna be like a pro at it and already get like 90% or something. But I'm only been practicing this level for a few hours. I know I can do it. I put my mind to I'm gonna be able to do it because I already did a 39 to a 78 one or something, like I told you before. So like 30 to 7 or something. It was pretty good. It was the start of the way to. I don't know where 78 is like that part in the mini wave. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, let me see, I've only done like 900 attempts and that's including the ones I did in like 1.0 and 2.0. Or I just tried to, I don't know, see what this level was going to be like. So I've only done like realistically like two or 300 attempts total actually trying to, you know, make some progress. I just realized this is about the same. Hold on. Look, that that's almost the same percent percent I have in problematic. 
Um, okay. Um, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. And uh, if I beat it, I'll probably record a video and doing something. Like trying to beat this dumb level that I've been trying to beat for like two years or something. Um. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. So, I hope you have a great rest of your night, day, whatever your time is right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.